China, the United States and the European Union are the world's worst polluters. If Washington pulled out of the climate change accord, it could significantly slow the progress toward reducing global warming. European Union Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini made that point Tuesday at the United Nations. Everything is linked. So we continue to expect that the United States will find a way to remain committed to the Paris Agreement. I know there is a debate ongoing, and we respect it very much, but 195 countries have signed a deal on climate change, and there will be 195 different paths to meeting the Paris goals and honoring the agreement. And I am sure there is room for the U.S. administration to find its own path. In the past, Trump has repeatedly said there is no proof of global warming, but the White House announced Tuesday that the president has again postponed the decision pending further discussions with experts. The president has been meeting with his team uh, for quite a while on this matter, and he will not be making an announcement regarding that agreement until after he returns from the G7. Former President Barack Obama has been an avid supporter of environmental protection. At a forum in Milan, Italy Tuesday, he expressed faith that the United States will ultimately move in the right direction. The good news is that in part because of what we did over the last eight years, the private sector has already made a determination that our future is in clean energy. Investments are already moving into clean energy. Right. Former UN the Chief Kofi Annan told the Associated Press in an interview that in the long run, a U.S. decision will not affect the international effort. Even if U.S. pulls out tomorrow, I will put money on the table that they will go back in four years or so. And the business community, the private sector is committed. They know they implications. Trump's stance regarding climate change has sparked a series of protests by environmental activists, scientists and ordinary citizens. Slatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.